I'm Doug Caldwell, University of Florida, Collier County Extension. It's early July 2013. Today I'm with Helga Reynolds, Master Master Gardener with Collier County, and we're looking at the use of crotons in the landscape. Helga, you've been using crotons for about 12 years. What gets you so excited about crotons in the landscape? I really like crotons because they are so colorful. Every homeowner wants to have color in their yard. Uh, they are low maintenance. You can put them in uh, different exposures, partial shade, sun. Uh, you just have to uh, select the right croton. Helga, you've used uh, a lot of varieties of croton in your landscape very effectively. Tell me about some of your favorites and uh, why is this one all green? Well, actually it's the same kind. It's star blight and you can see why I love it. It's, it's just vibrant. Um, this one I pruned like three months ago and this one on, I pruned only two months ago. And you can see the difference. This one got a lot more sun so it's much brighter. So is this one going to look like that? Yes, it will. You just have to have patience. I, I, gosh, I find that hard to believe, but you're the expert. Tell me about some more. This is called the Mamie Croton, or also called the Fire Croton. And fire Croton. It gets brighter with light. It likes sun. Wow, now this is a prime Petra. Look at those big leaves and bold color. Why does this one look so good? It's got eastern exposure and it has afternoon shade. So it really likes it. This is a beautiful use of combining plants, texture and color. What do you, what's in here? Well, here we have uh, Sanzibar croton. Sanzibar, and that's got the skinny narrow leaves. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It doesn't grow much taller than this. It's perfect for here. This is another sloppy painter. Uh, it just kind of fills in and then we have the bromeliads. So that's the fireball? Fireball, yes. I and think. They multiply by themselves. It's great. That's beautiful. Crotons in the past have had a few pests, some mealybugs, some thrips, sometimes southern red mite, but now uh, we're dealing with a, a more serious threat. The croton scale. Yes, the new scale in town, the serious threat is called the croton scale. It's a new scale to science. It's never been reported before. It was first found in the Florida Keys in about 2008 and moved into Collier County about 2009. Scale insects are a not so insect looking insect. You can't see their antennae, you can't see their legs. They just look like a bud or, or scale, a part of the plant's anatomy, so they're hard to detect. Scale insects feed through sucking mouth parts. These are very long and very tiny, thread-like almost. So they insert these thread-like sucking mouth parts into the plant tissue and remove sap. This is what really stresses the plant. It sucks the leaves dry, it sucks the twigs dry, and eventually the branches, the whole plant crashes and dies. With the croton scale, the females are large, plump, look like buds on the croton and the males are smaller, whitish, almost transparent, and you can find them typically on the back side of the leaves. The croton scale is primarily a problem in the landscape on crotons. We also find it on firebush and gumbo limbo. It's reported to feed on about 70 other plants as well. So what do we do? Keep a close eye and scout your crotons frequently. Treatments on the croton can either be a horticultural mineral oil, about a 2% concentration, and you'll have to repeat that 
probably three times at five day, five to seven day intervals. Uh, long term approach is using one of the systemics such as imidacloprid, a bare product. It's a soil root drench. Should give you six to nine months effective control. So looking at all these different colors and bright spots you can add to your landscape, the different leaf shapes, these are a fascinating group of plants and if that croton scale shows up we know what to do about it. We use the imidacloprid soil root drench and you can smoke them dead, they're gone. Well Helga, thank you for sharing your landscape and your time and helping us with the video. We really appreciate it. Thank you Doug, appreciate you coming by, I enjoyed it too. This is Doug Caldwell, also known as Dr. Doug Bug, helping you to beautify your landscape and protect the environment.